Hello folks and welcome back to the Vertigo Tea Party and my informational series on DC Online. Today we're going to talk about alerts. If you've played other MMOs, they're very similar to instances uh, or just group dungeons where you play either actually by yourself or with various numbers of other players for loot and profit. So to open up your alerts menu, you can press Y on the keyboard or just press escape if you forget. And look at the very bottom and go to the on duty picture. I said duty. All right. So first of all, you're going to see the vault. You'll get this very early on. Most of these other things are going to be level 30. So if you're not level 30 yet, you might want to come back to this video later. But the vault will be given to you very early. I think it starts with the quest. Uh, basically, the vault, all it is, is a, a one room. You break a bunch of boxes and you get random items cash or in-game cash, uh, wearable items. Sometimes you will get marks of triumph, things like that. Now this is available to all players. However, how often you can do it varies based on your subscription level. If you are legendary, you can do the vault once per day. If you are a premium member, you can do it once every three days. If you're free, you can do it once per week. Always do it as soon as, as it is available because it will it will pay off in the long run for money, etc. Basically, it's free loot, so why not do it? One thing to keep in mind about all of these uh, on-duty activities, you queue for them, even if it's solo, you still queue for it. You can queue from anywhere, and once you're done, let's say I go to the vault and I finish up, it will put me right back to where I was. So you can queue. Go back to questing, join a, a, a alert or a duo or what have you. And then as soon as it's done, it plops you right back out so you can go right back to questing. So keep that in mind. Next, is, next up, you have the challenge modes. And all of these, uh, the various two-player, four-player, etc., are split up into various tiers, tier one, tier two, tier three. So I'm not going to go into all of the tiers for every single section. It's not really necessary. I'll cover it this one time, and it will apply to all the others unless I say otherwise. So tier one will be available to you once you hit level 30. These are single player, as you can tell from the one player being in the one player tab. And once you complete it, it gives you a, it gives you marks of triumph. The, ver the various tiers are harder, but you get more marks. So tier one will give you one mark, uh, tier five, will give you, uh, let's see, yeah, two, let's see, tier two will give you five marks of triumph, and tier three will give you 25 marks of triumph. And these are just missions that you've done previously, but they've been scaled up to level 30. Now, notice the tier one I can do now if I want to. As soon as you hit level 30, I would recommend you doing the challenge modes to start getting your marks of triumph. You also get items out of doing them just from boss drops and regular enemy drops. So definitely do those as often as you can. Now you'll see here when I click on this eighth precinct, it says Malachi Thorsat is lock, loot locked from weekly bonus awards. Now, anytime you do any of these alerts that we're going to talk about, you get a weekly award. So the first time I do eighth precinct in a week, I'll get a box once I'm completed, once I complete, which will have bonus goodies in it, uh, extra marks of triumph, extra loot, things like that. Now, uh, oops, I've not done any of these recently. Also, let's say I just came out of 8th Precinct. It would also say that I was locked from loot for the next day. So in other words, if I do 8th Precinct and complete it, I can't just keep running it over and over and over again to keep getting the bonus loot. Now I can do it if I just want boss drop loot, I believe but you don't get the marks of triumph. I believe you still get the, the uh, boss loot. I could be wrong on that. Someone wants to correct me in the comments below. Now, if you look at uh, tier two and above, these require a certain combat rating. I've covered combat rating in the uh, stats video, but in a nutshell, the combat rating is the average rating of how good your gear is. If your gear is really good, it'll have a really high combat rating. If it's really low level, it'll have a really low combat rating. So you can see here that I actually do not have a high enough combat rating to do these. I have combat rating of 42, which kind of sucks. But aside from that, once you get this combat rating, you'll definitely want to do 
these and actually the tier ones as well because you still get rewarded for doing the tier one. It's just not as much. So if you've only got so much time, do the tier two first. And then tier three requires a combat rating of 53. And again, you can always click on these and it will tell you these things. Next up, we have two player instances or two player alerts. Two player instances are called duos, which makes sense. And again, you have the various tiers, tier one, you can do immediately. Tier two, you have to have a combat rating of 50 or a 43. And tier three, you have to have a combat rating of 53. So what this will do, well, when you enter the queue, other players are looking to queue as well. So when it finds another player, you will get automatically grouped together and thrown into that instance and you'll do it together. And just real quick to show you how to, how to queue. Let's say I want to, I want to, you know, I like these three, you know, I've only got so much time and I only like these three. So you can go through these, click on them and then click to the box to the left and it will queue the queue you for those. And then once you're ready, you click ready. Now I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to do any right now but I'm just going to click. If you decide, oh, you know what? The phone's ringing. I can't be in the queue. Just click leave queue. It'll ask you and you just confirm that yes, I do want to leave the queue. Most players that I have run into from doing duos and four players have been pretty nice if they say anything at all. I've definitely noobed it up a few times and I haven't had anybody being rude or nasty to me yet. So a lot of people will be nervous going in, uh, you know, playing with other players. Don't worry about it too much. If you're really concerned, just start off with the easy duos. A lot of players are going to understand that, you know, you're new to the game. Even though you just hit 30, you're just now going to be getting used to group dynamics. So don't worry about it too much. If you run into somebody nasty, blow them off. I, from my, from the people I've dealt with, most people are pretty cool. So next that we have four player instances, four player instances are instances are called alerts. Now here you see something a little different. You see here on Area 51, I can't highlight it because it hides it. There's a star next to Area 51. If there is a star next to an instance or an alert or what have you, that means that is the specially selected uh, alert for, I think it's a week. I don't, I don't think it changes daily. I think it's for the week. And if you do that one, you get uh, an extra, uh, you get extra marks. And again, marks are used to buy your tier armor, among other things. So next, and again, you can see it's broken into tier one, tier two, tier three, tier and tier four, actually. Next, we have eight player instances. Eight player instances are called raids. Now these start at uh, tier two, which means you need at least a combat rating of 40. So you're not gonna be able to jump right into these. These, you might want to be a little, little bit more used to your class before you hop into these. And again, you can see there's various tiers of raids with various rewards. All of these give marks of triumph. Well, I, I, let me take that back. Uh, tier one and up of alerts give marks. And everything in the duo gives you marks as well. Next, we have arena PVP. Arena PVP is just you and another person get thrown against. or Well, depending on which one you choose, you will fight enemy players. So you can do 1v1, 2 versus 2, 4 versus 4, 5 versus 5, or 8 versus 8. And you can see some of these I can't do because I'm missing specific DLC. If you're a legendary member, this is a non-issue, but if you really want, say, 4v4 PvP, you'll want to find out which DLC that is and either buy that DLC or become a legendary member. Now, Legends PvP. Legends PvP is a bit different. It's similar to arenas and have you have 1v1, 2v2, 4v4, 5v5, and 8v8. However, it's different because you actually choose a, a DC iconic character to play as. So you can play as Robin or Harley Quinn, characters like that. So again, roughly the same thing, but you actually play as an iconic DC character. Lastly, we have events. Events is a special tab. There are special holiday events in DC Online, uh, such as you know Christmas, Halloween, things like that. Special uh, quests that they will give you during these holidays. And if there is an instance for that holiday event, which I believe there usually is, uh, it will show up under the events tab. Keep in mind, these are time limited. So you might check and there might be nothing in here or 
a quest that you see now might not show up later. So that pretty much covers all of the on duty stuff. As all, hopefully you guys have learned a little bit more about DC Online today. Please leave comments in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of these videos and I will see you next time.